Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about the earthquake hazard of ground motion. Earthquake waves can damage and collapse buildings. We will explore this with an experiment based on the shake table activity by Dr. Larry Braille, a seismology professor at Purdue University. You will need a wheeled trolley, poster board cut into squares and strips, sticky tape, and masses. I'm using bolts. Construct buildings using different techniques, but the same materials. My dodgy building does not stand upright unless it has cross bracing. My better building has the same materials, but is more stable, even without the cross braces. When you finish the buildings, attach them to a trolley with sticky tape. I've added a taller building with more stable construction, as well as my normal ones. In test one, we're moving the trolley the same distance along the floor and changing the frequency of movement. What happens when the trolley moves faster? In test two, we change the amplitude of the movement by moving the trolley different distances along the floor. What is the effect of a greater amplitude? For test three, we tape masses onto the first floor of our buildings. We test the buildings at different frequencies, then we test at different amplitudes. Test 4 has additional masses on the second floor of the buildings. What happens when the buildings are heavily loaded? There are many aspects of results to consider. How did changing the frequency and amplitude of ground motion affect your buildings? What was the role of cross bracing? Which building technique that you tried worked best? How did height affect stability? How did loading affect stability? After considering the results, how could you improve this experiment? What damage minimization technologies could you test with this model? We hope you've enjoyed this video. For more resources, visit our website at ozearthed.com.au.